them growing up, oh. and my parents were like, we don't want you to become a witch. And I was <laughs> like, well, uh, it's fake. Um. We brought together seven Harry Potter fans. I'm a Harry Potter fan. I am a Harry Potter fan. I am a Harry Potter fan. I'm a Harry Potter fan. I am a Harry Potter fan. I'm a Harry Potter fan. I'm a Harry Potter fan. I'm Dave, and I'm a Harry Potter fan. Ah! The Vuki ones, if you haven't noticed, we are playing Jubilee. We're not playing it, we're watching Jubilee. We are watching six Harry Potter fans versus one fake Harry Potter fan. Now, I am a massive nerd to comes to Harry Potter. I collect wands and everything. I have a bunch of wands here, so I'm going to find out who the tricky one is. I've already got my eye on you, Kylie. I've already got my eye on you. You're already not wearing Harry Potter brands. Who wears normal clothes? This hat is really bugging me, so if it annoys you, I might take it off in a couple of minutes. Let's go. One. We all know how it goes. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the entire I prize. would win it. Well, no, I'm not a liar. That come on. Who is the odd one out? Who is the odd one? Oh, that is so cool. I think the best thing to do right now is say your house and your patronus. Oh, that's, that's a good idea. Is that with you? Okay. Ravenclaw, Austin. Okay, I'm a Hufflepuff and I'm a shoe. Hufflepuff and sugar glider. Sugar. Ravenclaw, Austin. Ravenclaw, red squirrel. Hufflepuff, <laughs> otter. Gryffindor, otter. I think I want to say Gryffindor and I'm an otter too. Ha ha. I'm already on to you, Brian. Me and you. Your eyes are too close together, mate. I was most suspicious of Rachel. Her and I were the Rachel only already? ones that kind of came in full costume. Well, she's okay. I was expecting everybody would do it, so when nobody did... I was but it could be tricky. She could have actually just picked up everything and thought that... Uh, what's her name, anyway? Grisha? Grisha? She could have just picked the stuff and she could be cheating the system. Like, hmm. Who's what wand have you got? Oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, cool. What's your favorite book? Third. Okay. Oh. The first one? Yeah. I'd say the seventh. You can have nine. I'd say Order of the Phoenix. I'm. Order of the Phoenix. I do like the second one. Well, the one before last, Deathly Hallows Part Two. I really like. I really enjoyed it. But it has to be number one too, because that was really good. Because that's got you into Harry Potter the first time. Half Blood Prince. So. Okay. I was really suspicious of Cameron. He wasn't wearing real Hufflepuff gear. He wasn't. It doesn't matter. Much, you're not so wearing exactly what well, you're wearing. Ravenclaw, are you? Material we were talking about. Oh, What's the spell that shut my mouth. In the second book, when she fixed Harry's like glasses. Oculus Reparo. Yeah. 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 What book did you say? Second book. Yeah. When they're at. When they're at. Yeah. When the di is it Diagon Alley? Oh, I know what you're getting at. It's not the second book. Yes, it is. Yeah, she does it twice. He was like. She does it. She fixes his nose too. Did she at one point? And I was like, whoa. And She's I, all right, so Rachel's I got fine. kind of like defensive. Can you be specific? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Oh. Okay. Should be who's your favorite one. So the two Ravenclaws. What are the actual Ravenclaw colors? Oh, oh blue bronze. and bronze. bronze. When you have seven people, one. I don't know the actual Ravenclaw colors. I'm not too sure. Harry Potter, that's easy. Well, not Harry Potter. Griffin was easy. It's red and gold, isn't it? You know, it's not enough. Everything was moving so fast, so it's hard to guess who else might have. I was most suspicious. Who do we think? Do we? Who do we think? I think he's okay. I really don't know. I, I really don't. I wouldn't even have a clue at the minute. I don't know. Maybe Cameron? Is it which was Cameron? Is he the one with the blonde? But Cameron because he didn't yeah, he's talk on at all. Oh no, Cameron's going. Ooh. Yeah, Cameron's gone. Bye, Cameron. Rachel's not. Rachel's fine. Oh, what one have you got? They've all got ones. I would have voted myself out. I feel like I took one breath and then I was gone. <laughs> when did you guys start reading Harry Potter? Yeah, that was so I read the first book the year it came out. So I think I was like 12 because I was actually the age when Harry Potter first came out. And I was convinced that by when I was 10, actually, and I was convinced by my 11th birthday that I was going to get a letter on the 12th, on my 11th birthday, that I was going to go to Harry Potter World. Or the 12th. Because I were 11th or 12th. I remember it slightly and I was was desperately waiting for my Harry Potter letter, but didn't arrive, and I was so annoyed. I even had sticks and everything. I was in fifth grade. As my my mom read it to our mm. our fifth grade class. I didn't read the books until seven years ago because oh, I was born and raised no. in the south. I reckon it's here. So over there, it was just too expensive for me to get the book. With my yeah. first salary, I bought my first Harry Potter book, which was the first book. My sister was a huge Harry Potter fan, but I was like a little scared because I saw Voldemort and like, is this like a horror Fair movie? Fair enough. Yeah, that was like a horror movie. Crush on this guy. And he was.
was a big Potterhead, and I just wanted to really impress him, so I started reading all the books, and I, I watched all the movies. And Nick, if you're watching this, <laughs> turn the video off. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't allowed to read them growing up, and my parents were like, we don't want Why you to become a witch. And I was <laughs> like, well, uh, it's fake. Uh, uh, Hufflepuffs. Yeah. Hufflepuffs? Use your head of house. Uh, it's uh, uh, Professor Sprout. Question for the Reader's Lab. What Ooh, do you I didn't even know what my head of house is. is. Who's my head of house? Who's head of house of, uh, of Gryffindor? I don't know, my brain's gone blank. The oh. eagle. Oh. Um, for the Ravenclaws, who is our head of house? You mean the founder? I mean, founder. founder. The founder. We know. And now we need to question the, the Gryffindor. Yeah, yes. oh, someone yeah, yeah. give me a question. All right, cool. What was Ludo Bagman known for? Oh, he was Crap. the um, Quidditch announcer, right? At the um, World Cup? I don't know, I've never oh, heard of the name. the wrong answer. I asked a question about Ludo Bagman, who's a character in the books who didn't make it into the movies. Oh, and I wouldn't have a clue, because I, I haven't read all the books, so I would not even know that Brian at all my own I was just trying to see if she had actually read the books versus just maybe watching the movies or maybe just trying to study up. Am I hard is sounding right now? Because, like, <laughs> I feel like I read so much fan fiction that I'm like... <laughs> you read fan fiction? Yeah, I'm like, what's canon? I need to ask you about that. Oh, did you read Isolation? Yes, of oh course. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, what's Isolation going on? Isolation is a fan fiction about a budding romance between Draco and Hermione. No way, that's the thing. But she got it wrong. Yeah, of course I read it. It's a classic. And I have a, a question for you. Uh, why you didn't bra besides your one any other? Like yeah, other well, I haven't. I've got the suit and hat on my one. so expensive. I didn't wear any merchandise. It probably like gave a lot of people reason to suspect me. Why would you not wear it, though? This was comics related. <laughs> the mole will for sure have a one, but what about the rest of the clothes? What is your favorite She could be tricking everybody, the though. She could literally be tricking everybody and saying that she's going to be wearing it. Because the Rachel's fine, I I get Rachel, she's just a bit scared and stuff, but I'm, I don't know, and I... Uh, I'm not really good stuff, like, kind of good stuff, I guess. I can't get my words out. I reckon it could be, uh, could be her. Could be her, or him. Don't know. I want a robe, but I can't actually afford it at the minute, because it's, since lockdown, I can't get one. Something that it wasn't in the movie. Oh. That's a good question. Yeah. If everybody read the books... I you should be able to name a scene in the books that wasn't in the movies. Mine is when Dumbledore, uh, Voldemort Ooh. died, because in the movies he died. There was a part, I don't know if you Potterheads know, but when Harry Potter, yeah, it's probably the end bit, when he, Harry Potter dies, I bet he talks about it. As, uh, like, the, he, he yeah, the reason but in the books, yes, yes. he died as a mortal man. Yeah, he died uh, as a mortal man, I was going to exactly say the same thing. In the book, he died normally, but in the film, he got disintegrated. Boy does too, and then they're like, walking through school and Hermione's like, Harry, don't go poking around his mouth, boy. He's a prefect now. He can make life difficult for you. And he goes, wow, I wonder what it would be like to have a difficult life. Honestly, I think it would be the Quidditch final in the Forbidden West again, because there was that, that just wasn't included in the movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I really wish that they included, like, thieves to poltergeist oh, throughout yeah. the whole, like... It was a poltergeist? Movie, but he wasn't there. Oh, do you guys like Snape? I Snape love fans? Snape. Yeah. No, I hate. I would like him. Him. I thought he was brilliant. Towards the end, he was brilliant. He put the branch, and that's when he like showed effect. Like, I got confused though between it, because I actually thought he was actually going to be Snape's. Uh, Snape was actually going to be Harry Potter's dad, but because he has the same uh, Patronus as him, but his dad is the same too. And then I realized it actually was his dad. But turns out Snape just actually liked him. That's why I got confused. I generally believed for a long time that Snape was actually Harry Potter's original dad in any of the books any of the movies that shows like that he wasn't actually all about that life in both in the books and and the movies i feel like all along he has oh, this could be hard i don't know what i don't like dumbledore <laughs> who the really hell does not like dumbledore Uzer was talking so much he is probably only giving all the facts that he study and speaking more everybody likes dumbledore dumbledore's talks. brilliant yeah, dumbledore's a manipulator he is he is not a manipulator <laughs> he knows <laughs> well <laughs> he's more he's more better as dumbledore in the books but he's really good in uh, uh, Newt's Commander and stuff like that in the Fantastic Beasts. He's brilliant in Fantastic Beasts. I actually got his wand. His wand's so cool. I look at each character as if like they're people. And Dumbledore's background, exactly. like with his thing with Grindelwald, so I feel like that makes him yeah. human at the same time. I can kind of relate to him. I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, it's kind of hard. This is difficult because I wouldn't actually. She doesn't. I don't think anybody knows. Maybe they voted him out. Maybe they voted him out with Cameron, but I'm, I'm, I wouldn't even want to guess. What would you guess, guys? Leave comments. Who would you think? That's a hell of a pen, I tell you that. Almost nearly. Oh, really? She's going. Oh, there's a tie. We have a tie. The tie is between 
Kylie and Income. That means we're going to a tiebreaker. Go, tiebreaker. You is going to get 20 seconds to state your case. I think like everyone here would know the quote um, at the end of the book when Peeves comes out into like the hall and says like, we did it, uh, we bashed them. We Potter's the one, only gone moldy. Um. <laughs> Oh, she's definitely gone. She screwed herself over there. <laughs> she screwed herself over. I'm a late Potterhead, but I freaking love Harry Potter. I've been to like all the landmarks. I've been to Leadenhall Market. I've been to Black Park. I've been to the Elephant House, and I spent so much time there. Oh my god! And I've also been to Harry Potter World, obviously. I really would love to go to Harry Potter World. Genuinely, really would. I don't know. I I reckon it's probably gonna be the first really? one. Just a really big Harry Potter, and I'm super nervous, and I can't think of why I'm like so quiet. And it's black pretty black. much, you could just be nervous. Oh no, I don't go tight. Oh no, no, he's got a freaking uh. Harry Potter, my favorite scene in Harry Potter. What's my favorite Harry Potter scene? I'm, I really liked it in the book right at the end. My favourite part is the, the duel at the end where they're fighting towards... Oh no. What's my favourite Harry Potter scene? I have so many Harry Potter scenes. I wonder what they say. He's got a bloody um, a Star Labs t-shirt on too. So he's a bloody Flash player. So that could tell you straight away that he's the imposter. He's got a bloody Flash. He's Marvel. Was he DC? DC top. It's him. It's him. I'm telling you. I've got my eye on you, my wand. My favourite scene is probably the duel at the end. Because it was uh, so far, so powerful, it just needed to come out. And everybody was just looking forward to it so much. It ended too quickly, though. My favorite book, a movie is the third one, but my favorite scene is from the sixth one when Harry Potter, he drank Felix, like, the Lucky Charm, and he's just walking in the... The Lucky Charm. The Lucky Charm. Is that what he just called it? What was it called? Felix Lixia or something, yeah? Like, Professor Slughorn comes, and he's like, Harry! And he's like, sir! When they are at the... Uh like dinner hall and each is eating like in their house um tables he started <laughs> tutoring with the girl that he wanted to go and put Cho Chang. and he's like i wanted water for this i was staring into that bottle of water and he goes like you know the water like <laughs> that's <laughs> not just cool so bit. Nervous because flooring with her the first one i just screwed it up so i was you like did. okay i have a backup and i have another one harry gives dobby the book with the salt and he's oh, he's like oh master how give dobby oh i don't know in Order she knows Beats, a lot. The fight between Dumbledore and Voldemort is just crazy. Like, yeah. That's the only reason I really like Harry Potter movies is because it gave me a way to actually see what I'd been reading since I was 10. Yeah. It's like a flashback of James Potter and him like... How is that your favorite part? Uh, Snape, oh, look, she got a shit one too. Trousers. Do you know that you can actually buy a wand that actually controls your TV? I think that's a very important scene to me because it shows that even though it's like someone to look up to, there's like flaws in every character. Star of Oh no, that's, that's a sad part. Appearance. It's so sad. It's a what did she say though? What did she say, guys? What did she say? She goes, obliviate. Very Gryffindor thing for her to do to protect her parents by obliviating them. She doesn't even obliviate. know if she can get their memories back. Obliviate. It does say obliviate, doesn't she? The most suspicious it's person, bloke. I it's think, bloke. was uh, Grecia because she blanked out on she did. a couple things. Oh, she made a boo boo. She's going. She's going. She's going. Bye. Oh, she didn't like that. She did not. I was really disappointed. I went in the whole effort to like come in a complete uniform. Yeah, Maybe but that doesn't help all the time. Like threatened, and that's why they got This hat <laughs> really hit my head. How the hell did they wear this on set? No, it is still there. It's him. Him. Is that bloke? Hi again. Kylie mentioned her sister was a big Harry Potter fan. She could be wearing her sister's sweatshirt and yeah. using her sister's wand. I started doubting him. like Brian. Him. He might be the least him. likely option, him. but that would be like the biggest. You are. Ass You're the one. You got a fucking Star Labs <laughs> tump on. Oh my god, how many adverts have you got on the Jubilee? I'm ready to come to another <laughs> advert again. Oh my god. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Boom. It's you, mate, it's you. I'm telling you, it's him. Star Labs. After 10 minutes, it's, it's a 
Emperor and we decided to each first to explain why they want to continue on the game. This could be the mole because you guys wanted to end so you guys can get the money. Yeah. There's no harm in just having another round, I think. I feel like we got the mole. Oh, for I don't think she got the mole. Like deep cuts? The no. level of material that we've been talking about is too intense that I think the mole wouldn't be able to spit out those facts. So I don't easy. think they've got the mole. I want to keep going because I'm just like a little bit suspicious and part of me is like, I need to like have it down to like <laughs> the last survivor. It's like, I don't know what to do anymore. She's cool. I like her. I will crucio you. <laughs> crucio? Who says crucio? They didn't. I don't think they're gonna go. I think it's gonna go red. Oh, it went green! Oh my god. So when it turned green, I was like, alright, cool, we're good. Was Who was like, the pot I had then? Who do we think the pot I had is it? Do you think it was that girl then? Do you think it was Greta? But she was really, really gutted that she'd gone out. So maybe it was the first one. Really glad that I made it to the end. I'm very proud of myself. I'm, I'm sorry, Haley. I voted you several times. It's I was, okay. I was kind of suspicious of you. Now I feel bad, obviously. I, I was suspicious of you because you like you know so much. I was like, odd man out to psych me out. <laughs> Do you think it's Cameron? Oh, he went up on he went up on his feet. So I'm guessing it's him. Oh wow! I did not expect that. Jesus. <laughs> I'm so, yeah, sorry. Okay. I'm so sorry. I am a Hufflepuff. I took the, I took the quiz. It doesn't count of anything. But my roommate is a huge Potterhead. I was traumatized by Voldemort's face when I was six in the first <laughs> movie, and that's why I just never went back. Damn, Considering really? Considering that I've never actually read any of the Harry Potter books, mm -hmm. and I only watched like two of the movies. <laughs> I've only watched two movies. <laughs> I lost my hat. Oh my god, it was getting so hot in that thing. Wait a second. <laughs> Egg, come here. I'm a Harry Potter fan. You can go up there, mate. Go up there. Go on. Up you go. I think I did a pretty good job. I am not into I Harry didn't believe Potter, it was her. I never will be into Harry Traumatized Potter. Traumatized by him. I can already hear the haters behind the screen. So yeah. you haven't read Isolation. I studied about <laughs> Oh <laughs> no. That's his real me brain. That you did study and the fact that you brought a sweater props to you. He didn't he didn't do it. Oh, I was gonna it's say so I was gonna <laughs> <laughs> I was so suspicious of him with the star last top one, it was unreal. I don't specifically Because I you <sighs> think that you have to read the books to be a fan. No, you if don't. you do read the book, you are able to appreciate it more. Yeah. I immigrated to the United States at a young age. Harry Potter was like a place of solace for me, a refuge. I was able to be part of something like bigger, part of something that is like magical and like nah, can take you away or distract you from like things that you're going through or like tough things. I think that's why it has like a special place. In my She's Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Money. I really, really thought that was really cool. I really enjoyed that. Now I'm, I would not class myself as a massive Harry Potter fan. Like I'm not the biggest Harry Potter. I like to collect it. I like collecting the stuff because some of the stuff's really cool, like the Horcruxes. I know a few things. I know my stuff. If you talked about wands and stuff like that, I could tell you near enough nine times out of ten who's wands who. I'm just looking at the odd man now. Look at his bloody face. Beyonce here. Yeah? Six cheerleaders, one fake. I've got a few more to look at. There's a few. I've been waiting for this Harry Potter one for a while, but I always feel they don't go on long enough. That's the thing with the Jubilees I don't like. Anyway, I'm going to leave the video there, guys. If you're a Harry Potter fan, leave us a like. Man, I got a <laughs>